All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kachwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwap, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, I was sitting here meditating on how there's only one power. Now, I know, of course, duh, but do you really understand that? All the things that is going on in the world is ordained of the only power. So everything that this devil is doing and about to do is ordained. So I didn't have any scriptures in mind, but I knew once I start talking, you know, a scripture would come to mind. And for anybody who be struggling, you know, I don't know what topic to talk on. Just press record. I learned that from Apostle Tahar. I remember him saying that one time. He's like, just press record, man. The spirit will, you know, do what it do. But since I made that statement, how, you know, the devil is going to do what he's going to do is ordained. So you also got to remember this in the time of trouble, which trouble is inevitable. The Lord is going to be a help for you. So I'm going to get a scripture that I always quote. It said, when a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So imagine that. All right. All hell is breaking loose. And, you know, if I put it like this, if you are not unstable, as the scripture says, a wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of your times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Isaiah 33 and six. But if you're not stable, you're not going to have this mind state. So. Having this type of mind state in a time of trouble is what's going to get you through because, see, we're heading into a time where you're not going to be able to go to Jeremiah this and Matthew that, Ezekiel this, Daniel this, you know, you're going to have to have that word inside you. So the devil is about to create a famine of the word. And when he created famine of the word, that's when all hell going to break loose. The Lord can't have all hell break loose with his prophets still on the highways and byways and videos going up. But when that happens, he is going to allow all hell to break loose. And all through the scriptures, he prophesied that we was going to be protected in that time. Which shows you that there is only one power. So in a time of trouble, he will make your enemies be at peace with you. I always like I, I think about this. Right. So when you go into second address, particularly 16. When you go down into like the 20s, it talks about dead bodies on the street. Only 10 people left in the city. So that's a lot of death. Right. And stepping over dead bodies like because the scripture says shall no man comfort them, which means. And that day, ain't nobody going to be burying anybody. It's going to be bodies on the street. So I always think about that. So imagine wherever you're at, coming outside in that time, seeing dead bodies everywhere, stepping over dead bodies. You lock eyes with the army official. He just got done just mowing down 10 people, killing 10 people, right? Y'all lock eyes. He look at you and then look away kill somebody else see that's the type of power that we serve and that is a possible scenario so um another thing uh, i had another scripture in mind but i forgot where it went lord willing to come back so it said yahweh said verily it shall be well with the remnant that's that's the very important message the remnant the ones who believe on the lord Okay, it did come back, so I'm going to get that next. So the ones who believe on the Lord, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Abishai for that. 
Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat you well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. So the Lord is telling you that there is going to be a time of affliction. But within the time of affliction, I'm going to have the enemy entreat you well. Imagine that, man. Which shows you that there is only one power. So it said, for though there be that are called God, so powers in the earth, you know, you got a lot of idols and then you even got a lot of men in high ranking positions. It said, whether in heaven or on or in earth, talk about men. As there be God's many and Lord's many. But to us, there is but one power, the father of whom are all things and we in him and one Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our savior, to be exact, by whom are all things and we by him. So you have people in the earth who the Lord have ordained. Do you understand that? So that means that the Lord is the one that set up, up a man and take down a man. So if the Lord controls the man that's in power, that means he can have your best interests at heart if you believe in him. Because some of us is going to be martyrs and there's nothing wrong with that because... I think it's I haven't read this in years, but I just know that I know the scripture by heart. And I say I'm gonna get the scripture instead of quoting. So it said, Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. Because when the scripture said that you know making your body a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service, when you go out there on the highways and byways. That's um, the beginning process of that, because when you're on the highways and byways, anything can happen to you. You are putting your life on the line, the message that we speak goes against the world. And when you when we read Isaiah 10 and one and it talks about, you know, uh, grievous laws that are prescribed, these bills been written down since the 1960s about basically domestic terrorism. Like if you go against the new world order, you're going to be considered a terrorist. So that is our number one message. Our message is to go against this system and to bring forth a righteous system through Yahweh Bash and Abba Shai. As the scripture says um, in Psalms 94, who should rise up, you know, against the evildoers? Who should rise up for me against the evildoers? Um, Psalms 94 and 16. So, um, it's only one power in the earth, man. This is the mindset that you got to have because it's about to get real dangerous out here. This, this is not just a, you know, a book that you open up and be like, Ooh, this is entertaining. This is real life. That's why the book is called the book of life. And don't the scriptures also talks about people being written in the book of life, which represents salvation. So. Man, the Internet is slow today. I think Esau playing with me to say, if thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province marvel not at the matter for he that is higher than the highest regardeth and there be higher than they so everybody have a boss but who is the ultimate boss Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh okay also the times that we're heading into perilous times as scripture says in the last days and we are in the last days the, the Lord said that he is not a terror unto those. Matter of fact, let's get that. That the powers that be is not a terror to good works. 
Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High, the powers that are ordained of the Most High. See? So, a person will read this scripture that is carnal, who have no understanding, and try to justify. How about taking the snake oil? Hey, the Bible said be subjected to the power. So, if the power say, take the snake oil, we got to take it. No. See, this is where spiritual discernment come in. The Lord shouldn't even have to explain that. If the government, the powers that be is telling you to go against the Lord, then obviously you don't do that. But when it comes to paying your taxes and stopping at a stop sign and, you know, whatever the law of the land is, that's what you do. As long as it don't go against the Lord. That's what the scripture is talking about. So it says, whosoever therefore resist of the power resist of the ordinance of the most high so if you try to come together and try to take down the government you're going against the or the ordinance of yahweh bashim Shai, which means that you're not going to overcome the lord is going to get you destroyed because you trying to mess up the lord's program esau got a job to do and if you don't know who esau is to save you somebody new watching this video in the scriptures our forefather isaac had twins Jacob and Esau Jacob is the chosen that's where you get the Israelites from he had 12 sons Esau is the self-proclaimed white people since 1681 the wicked the devil that the Bible speak of and he is the curse of the earth that scripture not out of my mouth okay so um but let's continue so yeah if you try to come against the powers that be then yeah you're not going to succeed and it said and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation so if you try to go out of the order of the lord by trying to take matters into your own hands you're going to be judged for it and it said for rulers are not a terror to good work see now if you do what you're supposed to do now i can honestly say this so before i came into the truth i was always in and out of the court system i wasn't what you would call a so-called good citizen i was always in and out of court okay but ever since i came into the truth fully i haven't seen the court you know because when you are a man of the lord and you're striving for the masteries you're doing the best that you can you live a quiet life you're chilling out you you do the work you go to work if you got a job and you take your ass home okay so how you don't really got time for trouble so for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will you then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good and you shall have praise of the same. See, you don't get bothered. So for those people that get blown away by the police, they do the opposite. They're not innocent. Whoever perished being innocent and wherever were the righteous cut off. Job 4 and 7. And it says, for he is a minister of the most high which minister is another word for servant everybody that's a power is a servant of the lord you're doing his will no matter what even when you think that you're doing your own will that's the power of the lord all right the power of illusion okay because you got esau Edom, who really think that he's in control but you're doing everything that the lord wants you to do so here he is the minister of the most high to you for good but if you do that which is evil be afraid for he beareth not the sword in vain in that Going back to the cop killings. All right. You want to get all buck. You want to get all mouthy with the police. They're going to blow you away. We've seen it time and time again. So it says, for he is the minister of the most high. A revenger to execute wrath upon them that do of evil. Which remind me of the scripture. He created spirits for vengeance. Okay. So. Every spirit is subjected to the Lord and he could put a spirit on a man to do his bidding. So. Let me end it on this. And all I did was press record and see how the Lord do. It said, but the salvation of the righteous of Yahweh, he is their strength in the time of trouble. And Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He should deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So all powers is subjected to the Lord. There is only one power. And if you believe in that only one power, which is a package deal, 
Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. All right. You will be covered in the time of trouble. So all praises to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Remember, there's only one power. Shalom.